Welcome to Conversion Conversations. This is another two times speed game I played here. I was uh, piloting Nemesis Control, which is my favorite deck that I played so far, against Dinobots, which is my second favorite deck. Um, so my opponent, uh, they flipped cards a couple times because they were a little unfamiliar with the Dinobots and not uh, holding that against them. They do transform Grimlock and swing with Snarl. I, I guess I was a little curious about this. I figured they'd either transform Snarl or Sludge first. They go after Demolisher. I think the low defense kind of made him enticing. Um, I personally would have probably gone after Prime or Barrage myself. Uh, they swing seven attack. I believe I've got five defense there. Or maybe they've got, yeah. So they do two damage. Uh, into Demolisher, and in my hand I've got the data bank, security checkpoint I don't want to play right away, drill arms. Um, I believe I draw the handheld blaster, uh, which we'll see in a moment. But in my head I'm thinking, I know I'm going to swing with Demolisher first, I can put the data bank on Nemesis Prime, getting to draw a card, additional card every turn. Or do I want to put drill arms down first, it'll draw me a card, an extra card right now, uh, plus... Uh, the plus one onto Demolisher for his attack run. Yeah, so I, I would draw the handheld blaster. I decided to go with data bank. I think Drill Arms might have been an equally valid choice because the number of cards I was drawing would have would have evened out anyway. Um, but I go ahead and swing Demolisher into Snarl. Um, I do draw two orange pips, so that's two attack. Uh, that's not going to be enough to get past uh, Snarl's defense. So no damage, but. Uh, my deck size, I'm already down to uh, 24 cards in my deck, which is my real goal. I'm trying to race him. I know that he can put the hurt on my guys pretty quickly. I need to get Nemesis big to start one-shotting things as soon as possible. Uh, so then I think my opponent's spending some time thinking about what they want to do next. They can flip Grimlock back, get the bold three, and swing with Sludge. Um, and they don't have any damage on their guys that so they have to worry about healing. I think if I was in their position, that's what I would do. They uh, they play the Jaws of Steel, so they get the bold two on Sludge, which is going to be a nice swing, and they, they transform Grimlock back. So now, and they play uh, Dino Chomp, so they've got plenty bold on this one. And uh, I flip the two for Demolisher. I do get the white pip, so I've got three blue pips total, so that's a nice defense of seven. And there is their big old swing. Uh, yeah, so they've got 14 attack. So that's a that's a KO right there on Demolisher. Uh, I'm still not feeling terrible. Um, I've gotten some more cards through my deck. Uh, and I'm thinking, uh, the unfortunate thing is that Barrage has no hurt target to go after. That's a bit of a shame. So maybe going back, you know, if I had played the Drill Arms, I don't think I still would have gotten enough attack to actually do damage, but getting some attack onto Barrage so he could get the Pierce would have been nice. I do play Drill Arms. Uh, there's nothing there for Drill Arms to, to sack, so I get to pull another card and it's the Handheld Blaster. I do have Leap in a Battle now, which is nice. Um, so I'm thinking, you know, get the plus three somewhere, uh, put the, yeah, put the plus three on Barrage and go ahead and make a, try and make a big swing to see if I can even something out here. And I decided to go after Sludge. Normally I go after Snarl, but Sludge does have the Jaws of Steel on it. Um, plus it's got, uh... The healing factor so maybe if I can kill that I don't have to worry about it later on in the game and I do get seven damage onto sludge which is a good start all things considered I think and now I got to get ready for the Grimlock swing and uh, the nice thing is from this range I don't think Grimlock will one-shot barrage so I don't have to worry about his overkill uh, maybe they've got a rollout or something else to get transform Grimlock and transform him back. Instead, they play incoming transmissions uh, just to help get things ready for Grimlock's swing. But it looks like I don't have to worry about all the extra bold. 
and yeah, we see the Grimlock transform, and it's just a swing, so no equipment to worry about either. Swing into Barrage, I draw no defense, and the Grimlock gets, you know, a decent sized swing on. And yeah, Bar Barrage is hanging on just enough. Which is fine, you know, if it had gone down 3-1, to one, Nemesis would have died in the next round of combat. But this is not the worst place in the world. I'm, I'm behind right now, but uh, I've got 11 cards in my deck. I'm really thinking about, can I get Nemesis the plus 3 now? And I don't think I really could. Handheld Blaster helps. Uh, I'm drawn to the Inspiring Leadership would get me down to... Uh, Right now I'm at 9. Inspiring Leadership would get me down to 7. Uh, treasure Chest would get me down to 3. But without a white pip, I'm not absolutely positive. So I figure I'd draw the Inspiring Leadership. Maybe I can pull something else I want. And I do get the... Uh, yeah, I drop one of my security checkpoints. And the Handheld Blaster gets some double blue pips back in my deck. Uh, other than that, I equip a Handheld Blaster to get some gold. And I'm, I'm fine uh, transforming Nemesis, swinging with him, and then he'll get the plus three on the, the, my opponent's attack phase. And yeah, I actually flip... <laughs> I mean, I haven't seen a ton of orange in my deck so far. It's mostly blue, but I flip a decent amount of orange here, and my opponent does not have the, the best defense flip. Uh, so I do get a kill, which is helpful here. So I'm not down 3-2 or a 3-1 on the next turn, it'll just be down 2-1. And now my opponent's thinking, okay, they've they've got the opportunity here to go for an overkill, right? They kill Barrage. The whole point of Grimlock is to get that overkill uh, damage. So maybe they swing with Grimlock into Barrage to try and get some damage onto Nemesis Prime also. Instead, they flip Grimlock, they give the bull to Snarl, give him the Jaws of Steel, so he's going to get a big, beefy swing. And honestly, with a swing like this, I mean, this is my opponent's, I think, maybe one of their first games, so no, no, uh, I don't, I don't want to hold anything against them as they're learning the game. The swing does get, uh, Nemesis Prime has plus three, and that's a really nice swing that would have done plenty of damage to Nemesis. Instead, it does kill Barrage, and it buys me a turn. So I think, looking back at this game, uh, this was, I think, my opponent's game to win. I think that's that's what I'm learning as, as I'm reviewing this footage, is really, had they gone after Nemesis Prime at the beginning of the match, and at this opportunity, I probably would uh, have been at a much worse footing at this point in the game. And Nemesis Prime, yeah, he does get the plus three, so he's got the, the base 10 swing, which I am going to use against uh, Snarl here. And then the question is, I'm at 27 cards in my deck again. Uh, can I get another cycle in before Nemesis gets too many attacks? I draw my two. Supercharge is nice. The force field is super nice. No damage on Nemesis and getting the force field. Um... He's got... Nemesis already has a pretty nice attack. The leap into battle I don't think is really needed against Snarl. Uh, I mean, I could use it. Um, the, the treasure hunt would also just help me cycle my deck. Um, I decide to go with the leap into battle. Just, you know, absolutely ensure the kill. No matter what freakish draw Snarl might have gotten, but I've got plenty of attack now, and Snarl goes down. As, you know, once this deck gets going. So then they, my opponent does get one more Grimlock swing before I swing. Uh, and I wasn't, I mean, I'm not really worried at this point. I've got the force field, which I think as soon as I play that, I kind of lock the game in. This is... I mean, they do four damage max, 
uh, and I think they don't even do enough, yeah, they don't even do enough damage at this point to trip the force field. So the, the fact that that is pacing their damage output really, I think, was the deciding factor, besides some misplays my opponent made, which I think sh goes to show, you know, they're learning the game, and I would love to play them again sometime in the future, but the the, the order, the uh, attack order and the, your targeting decisions, as much as people like to say, oh, this deck is really good or this deck is really good, your decisions as a player in this game absolutely can win or lose you the, the match. And I think at this point there might have been a small math error that um, my opponent didn't quite understand how the, the four damage happened, so I had to walk them through the pips. But yeah, so I've drawn, and there's my second force field, which is nice. Um, I decide it's not super worth it. Let me get some cards out of my opponent's hand, just in case they had a Dino Chomp or something. I've already got the one force field equipped. I can drop that and an unnecessary handheld blaster and uh, hopefully get rid of an important piece of equipment on my opponent's side. And this was, I think this might have been a first or second match for them, like I said. And I think it was the first one on Octagon. So, you know, the the, it, the pacing is a little slower as I'm helping them out with, with different parts of the game. Yeah, so there's a grenade launcher. Thank goodness I got rid of that. Not that uh, it would have mattered with the force field, but you can never be too safe, I feel, with uh, when you're running blue pips. And I want to say their net dino bot deck is probably the same exact deck that I played. And you have Grimlock with 9 damage on him, and me still having the force field attack kind of puts this game over at this point. But out of curiosity, I was thinking if I it's possible for me to get another plus three. And unfortunately for my opponent, I, I think I, in terms of what I drew and what I flipped, it was a very fortunate game for me. This kind of, I was able to play exactly what I wanted to play and flip exactly what I wanted to flip on this game. Yeah, I think they forgot that I had the force field equipped. Or they forgot about my defense that I that I flipped and they were wondering why I didn't sack the force field. It's because it didn't go above the threshold. And yeah, so I've got Leap into Battle again. I Yep, there's the play. I'm not bothering with uh, anything else. Just go in for the kill. And that's game. And this was, uh, like I said, me piloting Nemesis Control versus the classic uh, Dinobot Bold deck. And it was a lot of fun. It was a good match. Uh, you know, I'm hoping I can play my opponent again sometime soon as they're learning the game. It's been a lot of fun. And next week, or not next week, this Saturday, we'll see uh, Double Megs. See you guys.